Hi, Abby. Thanks very much for joining me again. Yeah, to, uh, <laughs> to 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 have another a, a new a new version of our little call or like little excursions on the strokes. Um, last time we had butterfly. Um, today we want to talk about uh, backstroke. And um, again, we want to want to cover a bit what are the difficulties, um, how can I do it or how can I train it, and uh, and and want to take an outlook on 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 yeah maybe a dryland or what, what we see in dryland. Again, backstroke is is um, is a long axis stroke goes along around the long axis can be usually compared to freestyle, which a lot of people do. But me as a free predominantly freestyle medley swimmer butterfly swimmer i would always say no 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 no. backstroke has nothing to do with freestyle um it's my least favorite one so what would you say there is it is it comparable or not or what do you what would be the hardest thing about which people don't get about free backstroke yeah i actually so i'm doing a presentation next week um at a convention here in the US on backstroke. And one of the slides I just wrote last night was how backstroke is commonly forgotten um, because it's often compared to freestyle. Um, but there, you know, it's long axis, yes, you've got rotation, but like the timing of the stroke, the kick and the pull, it's all very different. Um, so if you approach it as a coach, like the same way as you approach freestyle, that is to the detriment, I believe, of to your swimmers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, for for me, for me, backstroke was always I like as I said from the outside, it looks like similar and it has a similar rhythm and whatsoever. But it is what a lot of people don't see. It's more like it's a lot heavier on the legs than on the yeah. arms, um, because the, the the propulsion, other than in freestyle, where a lot of the propulsion comes from the arms and the arm movement, which gives some sort of the tone of the stroke in backstroke it's most of it out of the 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 hips and the 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 lips position and the, the legs and the kicks that it drives you up and then the rotation you need to do it do it as fast as possible would you would you agree there yeah one of my favorite olympians talked about how he felt like backstroke was a crunch so you're like in an active body position and then you're rushing twisting as fast as you can up and down the pool while extending your legs like on a leg extension so like your abs are on fire your obliques are on fire and your quads should be on fire if you're swimming backstroke well and i was like that's a perfect analogy on why like a 200 backstroke if swum well and fast is one of the hardest events to do it is, it is, it is, and uh, for me it was always, yeah, one of the most, uh, if I can say this, um, sorry for my French, hated stroke ever. So, uh, in medley, I was always happy that I could compensate with breast stroke and then the other strokes. Yeah. So there were, I could, I could swim uh, back in the days. I could swim medley and breast stroke as fast, and then in a freestyle on, on back. So they would all catch up with me off off to the bat for a butterfly, or would be even ahead of me. And on a breaststroke, yeah. I will go and get them. And on freestyle, I will take it home. Uh, but for, for me, it was never really understood why. I mean, as I said, it is. It goes against my natural where I have also more about upper body strength. And all these backstrokes are predominantly very like lean and 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 and, and, and not, their back their back is not very V driven. It's more 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 straight line or straight back and and, and pose like the from the anatomy. Of, of a swimmer when you compare them, I guess. Um, yeah. yeah. But also, as I said, it's one of one of the like all strokes are difficult, but the backstroke is for me the biggest animal. But what would you say? I mean, when you see what are the hard, what are the most difficult things about backstroke? I I usually say it's the rotation because if they like the kicks, obviously that they need to be done. But it's the rotation. If they don't do it well enough, they end up having the arms somewhere here, or they don't get it get the arms early enough in to have a proper stroke when they when they want to push through I don't know what would you say what is the hard thing about it I would agree and I, you know I think what you touched on earlier for like the kick so the kick in freestyle you have choices you could kick two times you can kick four times you can kick six times and with backstroke there's no variability with legs like if you're not kicking then you're probably not swimming that fast so that in itself is a huge factor that has changed between free and back. Um, 
And then on top of the fact, yeah, you need more rotation and back strip to get the hand deep enough to be able to pull well, um, that you can get away with a flatter freestyle. There's there's options. There's more options in freestyle than there are in backstroke. So you're taking a flat swimmer in freestyle that doesn't kick very much and popping them over onto their back. They're going to struggle with both of those pieces because they're going to not want to kick and they're not going to want to rotate. And that's going to be hard for them. Yeah, that would be me, I guess. You explained it very well. So, they're going to put me off at the band. Body rotation is always there and shoulder rotation as well. It's not to mistake. And usually people mistake also in freestyle. They mistake it. You know, they compare it or they, they, they mix it up. So, one is the rotation around your, your, your the long X and the other one is the rotation about or off your shoulders. Um, yeah, but it is, you, you. I guess, I would agree that the, the, the emphasis should be, it should be emphasized or your training should be geared that you have a constant kick and that this works. Um, yeah. The other thing which I usually also see when, when people start doing backstroke is this, you know, this, we call it cycling, you know, the cycling movement. So they move, yeah. move their, but that's, yeah, you could say the same thing for Frisa, but there it happens less or it's mm -hmm. less of a problem, except because of what you said, three, uh, two, four and six key kick and you can, you have a variety there and you can have also a pool boy in backstroke you can't really do that i mean it's uh it's not really possible um yeah, yeah. but what 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 dry land drill would i guess it's again like in butterfly it's um what dry land drill would you rec recommend for for um for, for backstroke I think backstroke, like as we touched on, the trunk and this rotation is a huge determining factor on whether you're comfortable with it, you enjoy it, stuff like that. So pretty much anything that's going to work, the trunk, the back, the abs, the obliques, um, I would say is a solid solid start to mm -hmm. training backstroke on land. So that way when you actually swim it, it feels better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's 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 also too. It's not like in freestyle. Um, I think there you can really separate uh, all the, uh, the 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 elements which you need to train in in on dry land, even for a drill, because backstroke is not so much rhythm driven like a like a freestyle where you can have a two B kick and the rhythm or something. In backstroke, it's kicks and the arms have their movement. Obviously, um, you yeah. shouldn't you shouldn't push the water into your legs when you kick. Uh, yeah. So, so, you, you, but that actually happens naturally, I think, in in, in that sense. Okay, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. What what advice would you give someone who starts off with uh, with, with 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 backstroke? Yeah, well, a get used to like being on your back because I'm sure you probably have seen on social media too. A lot of people struggle with like getting water in their mouth mm. and their nose, put off under the water, and so I think that is normally like a fear that if it happens once, it's going to happen every single time. Um, so like learning how to work through that fear to start. Um, and then once you get into like the weeds, backstroke, you know, make sure that you're getting the hand deep enough, you're getting enough rotation, you are kicking consistently the entire time. Um, but yeah, like there, there's a flow with the breath and backstroke that happens naturally in freestyle, but it can be offset with the fact that you're your mouth is now totally out of the water the entire time that people sometimes hyperventilate or they hold their breath more than they would when their head is down. Um, you've got to get that flow right um, mm. in all the strokes, but really, you know, in backstroke, you don't want to gag on water or take water up in your nose when you're swimming. That, <laughs> that's not good for anyone. Yeah, it's all, so much worse, I guess. It's so much worse. For me, it's always... It's similar. What I would say is that the kicks, you know, that you that you get used to bay on the back. I, I I like that one, but also do kicks like learn the kick properly, so you really have the stability from from there, which gives the propulsion, and then add the the and the, the rotation to it, and then there you have a lot of drills which you can do. Well, I guess yeah. I guess this is this is um this is a good uh, good good entry point for uh, for backstroke. I think um, if our followers or people who are listening in want to know more about the backstroke as in other things or whatever they want to know, they should tell us on, in the comments. And also, by the way, I have forgotten about last time, uh, follow, like, and, and anything. So 
the fish or the Abbey fish and uh, Marcus Martal and our YouTube accounts and Instagram and TikTok. We are everywhere. And uh, yeah, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are like everywhere. <laughs> yes, we are everywhere. And um, yeah, and then um, we will most probably cover other topics as well. And the next one will be breaststroke. Mm -hmm.